So one thing you need to do with your CNC machine, which is a piece of regular maintenance, is to grease the linear rail carriages and the ball screws. I bought this small grease gun, which I fitted the bar and the flexible arm, but because of the size of the parts that I'm using, I can't use the standard fitting, which is this bit at the end here. So I bought this instead. So that was about a tenner. This was about a tenner. And um, this is called a needle attachment or needle nozzle for the grease gun. I could get it to fit on this just by plopping it in like that. I want to see if I can dismantle it and attach it directly onto the end. So what I'm going to do is try use the hot air gun to see if I can break the seal on this. Um, there it goes. So the last thing I need to do is pack the grease gun with some lithium grease. This particular grease gun came with a small cartridge of amber grease, but I want to use white lithium grease because it's what's recommended for the CNC machine at work. So I'm going to follow suit and wait for that to arrive in the post. But from what I've read when it comes to lithium grease, the colour really doesn't matter. Particular sectors might have preferences for certain colours, but there's no clear performance advantage. The only reason I think white grease is used with linear rails is it's easier to tell when it's become contaminated. I also don't want to use the cartridge supplied with the grease gun because it stinks like a petrol station. Now packing grease into a gun is a bit of an art which isn't really shared. I made a complete mess of one grease gun which I tried to pack without a cartridge and this led me to think that with the cheap grease guns at least you really need the additional thickness of the cartridge wall to provide sufficient compression to the plunger or possibly I may have to turn the plunger upside down. But that feels like a lot of design consideration for 11.99. Clamp that on here so that the Put pair of goggles on because there is a spring in there. I decided to dismantle the grease gun and after losing about half an hour looking for the parts which flung out and luckily narrowly missed my eyes, I realised the gasket wasn't reversible. So I returned the parts as I found them. Um, the original washer has been lost to humanity so I've had to get another one. Um, I'm looking at this a bit more and I'm starting to think maybe my idea isn't going to work. This setup relies on the washer providing a surface for the ribs at the bottom of this locking nut to actually grip on a bit. If I actually flip the plunger around, it just doesn't seem right. It feels like this particular grease gun is designed to be used with the uh, cartridge supplied. I think what I'm going to do is reassemble this in the way it was and then I'll empty the grease cartridge that came with this and then try and fill that up and see if I can fit it in here. My grease has arrived and here are my observations. So I've got a few different lithium greases here. This one is a generic one from Wilco's. This is a white grease with uh, calcium from C. Benny's and this was the cartridge that was supplied with the grease gun. And if I open this up, give it a smell. I can barely smell anything on that. If I do the same with this, this actually smells a bit milky, almost like a, a coconut oil. It'd be funny if they'd been mixing this up and claiming it's lithium grease, but it's actually a sort of body rub. And then this stuff here, 
literally smells like a petrol station, it's disgusting. I can't believe these really smell so different from the other two. very very fine bead of grease that comes out and uh, it's really important that you have that uh, follower plate which you can use to fill up the canister um, unfortunately I can't seem to find anywhere that does the cartridges without any grease so you'll also have to recreate a drug mule delivering a buck package if you want to repack a grease gun cartridge <laughs> Definitely going to put some gloves on when we do this. I'm going to finish this video with greasing my CNC machine. For more information about parts used in the video and links to other interesting things, check out the description below. Don't forget to sacrifice a thumb to the algorithm gods. And that leaves me with the final thing to say, which is thanks again for watching, and you'll catch me in the next one.